Well, our next final, of course, will be uh, men's singles, and it gives us a chance to look at the Destination Dubai ranking. Win or lose today's final, Lin Dan will go up two places to number one. Chen Long, if he wins, uh, will be ranked number two, going up uh, three places. And if he's runner-up, he will be ranked three, leaving Jan Jorgensen at number two. So there's lots of different scenarios, uh, of course, when the results of the Maybank Malaysia Open are taken into account. Tan Boon Hyong, former world number one in the men's doubles and former champion here at the Malaysia Open. Well, our next final as the entertainment continues here in Kutra Stadium. All Chinese affair, Chen Long, the number one seed, the world champion against Lin Dan, the two-time and reigning Olympic champion. Well, Ian, for the purists, of course, to have an Olympic champion against a world champion, can't get much better than that. Well, I was just going to say, it doesn't come any better, does it? And uh, a little bit of spice, I think, after the after the All England. Yeah. A couple of, couple of little factors, I think. One, I been down with his record certainly doesn't like losing that's for sure and also he's never won the malaysian i believe is that right Jim? that is yeah. he's never so won the malaysian open maybe a couple of little extra bits of motivation for lin dan here which could uh, could make it an even better match yeah and the all england that you talk about obviously chen long won the title but he beats his compatriot lin dan in the semi-final stage and beat him in two straight games there's Shia. Schranger, men's singles coach, he's sitting in the crowd, he's not going to get involved in this final, leave the players to their own devices. Yeah, he'll be an interesting spectator for this one though, I think. Yeah. Well, the last Chinese winner at the Malaysian Open was long before it became a Super Series, 2003. Chen Hong, 12 years ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very surprised by that statistic. I mean, obviously, Li Chong Wei's had a great Men's record here the last few years, but uh, it's a bit surprised no Chinese players won for that China, length of time. Yeah. So the world champion the world number one, Chen Long, announced onto court for the men's singles final. Well, fans in front of us, all on their feet, cameras at the ready, trying to get a picture of these players, both these players as they emerge onto centre stage in the Putra Stadium here. From China, Lin Dan. Just listen to the fans. Two time Olympic champion, Lin Dan, has a huge following all over the world. Well, he has won virtually everything there is to win in world badminton. This is one of the titles missing from his CV. This is his third final here at the Malaysia Open. He was in the final back in 2005 and 2006, lost out to Lee Chong Wei in both those finals. This is his first appearance here at the Malaysian Open for three years since 2012 and the fans are delighted to see him back our umpire for this one is Jitidrut Tamu Kawapak from Thailand David Wampeng Seng our service judge well he has an aura about him, doesn't he, Linda? And the charisma is not just his results on the badminton court. He is a megastar. 
Chen Long, who's lived in his shadow, uh, but is now the world number one. Well, this is a match. No, I hope you realize there's a shuttle on the court. Yes, I don't want you going and tripping your ankle before we even start. Yeah, well, his statistics, as I say, he is the world number one. First ever final here in Malaysia. He's twice been a semi-finalist. And his win-loss record for the year, his only previous tournament, the first of the Premier Super Series events, the All England. Five matches won to win that title. And a look at his path through to today's final. All of his matches in two straight games. It should be said, though, he hasn't played against another seeded player. His teammate Wang Zhemeng in yesterday's semi-final looked pretty straightforward and really has been in great form. Well, he's 26 years of age now, Chen Long from Hubei province. His opponent, Lin Dan, the left-hander, is now 31 years of age. His world ranking is three. Of course, he has been world number one. Back in 2004 was when he first became world Ready number one. And as I say, two finals here at the Malaysia Open, 2005 and 2006, making his 10th appearance here. And in the very first round, the man who beat him last week in India retired injured at just two Hello. love in the first game. Three, two times he's been taken to three games in his quarterfinal against Yan Hao Wei, and then in the semi-final yesterday against Yan or Jorgensen. What a semi-final that was. Jorgensen had his chances. He was a game and 17-15 up when he served out. How much the Dane will probably regret that error on serve. And in fact, the Dane was 11-5 up in the third and deciding game and 15-11 up when he missed a sitter at the net and as you pointed out yesterday Ian that after that missed Lindan. Lindan. sitter Lindan then promptly won 10 of the next 12 points to finish off the match it was an extraordinary performance well this will be the ninth meeting between these two players on the previous eight Chen Long has only won on one occasion and that of course was that All England semi-final last month and there is confirmation it was pretty comfortable wasn't it 21 13 21 12 well there really is a buzz of anticipation around the putra stadium ladies and gentlemen on my right Lindan, China. And on my left, Chen Long, China. Well, I think equal support for both men. Both players got a huge Lin Dan, cheer serve. from the crowd. Now just Lobo, watch Lindan's feet as play. he's about to serve because yesterday he was called a service fault by the umpire was standing on the centre line as he was One serving from left. that right-hand court. It was all very dramatic yesterday, what with the controversy. I didn't know what was going on. You had to put me right, Ian. And the badminton, of course, was just superb. Yes, I mean, uh, clearly... Lindan's not wasn't at his best at the All England and Chen Long really did take him apart. It was unbelievable. But you just had the feeling yesterday that Lindan was playing himself into a little bit of form during that match. So it'll be interesting to see how he starts this one. He certainly started very slowly in his quarterfinal and his semi-final. I just don't think he can afford to do that here today. in his forehand corner to look down at the line before 
he played the shot. There he is. In down. In down. In Missed down. with the next shot. I have to say, it's Still great to love. see the crowd getting involved here. 43 shots for a second rally of the match. That's extraordinary. So this has been a slightly disappointing tournament for home fans this year with the Malaysian players going out early. But this is just a demonstration of uh, Three, what a hotbed of badminton Malaysia still is. Yes, the fans have still been coming in their droves. It's been wonderful support this week. You don't often see that, the shuttle getting caught in the net. He said Lin Dan needed to make a better start than he made in both his quarterfinal and his semi-final. He certainly has. Yeah, he'll know that he can't start uh, as he has done in the quarterfinal and the semi-final against Chen Long. If you give Chen Long the lead at the moment, he's playing with such confidence. Lin Dan will know very well that he needs to get into this match early. So it's over. That's a nice One, angle. Four. Took it nice and high interception. This for Lin Dan is his 77th career international tournament final. It's won 57 titles already. No more important than that, Lin Dan has been in a final of a major international competition every year One, for the last four, 14 play. years having won a title for the last 13 years at least one title a year that's just amazing statistics isn't it Attacking play from both players. And Dan putting the pressure on first of all. Chen Long replying. Yeah, Lin Dan's record is, as you say, is incredible. But even more so when you think about the fact that he took time off after the Olympics to just recover and think about his next steps. Took that time off, but was able to come back so well. Yeah. Yeah, 2013, he only played two tournaments. Yeah, that's good. Can't Three, give Chen long four. time in the rear court like that. So difficult around the head when Chen Long takes it early to see whether he's going to go straight or cross. And that time, he was able to beat Lin Dan with the cross court attack. Straight, Four, super precision. So four points to Lin Dan at the start of the match, and then four points to Chen Long. I can't help but think, though, Ian, the fact that you know prior to the All England semi-final, they played on seven occasions. Chen Long had lost them all. When you suddenly do break that duck and you get your first win. You know, it's almost as, you see it so many times in sport, it almost opens the floodgates, doesn't it? And, and so you have that belief, and then you can build on that time and time again. 
Yeah, I'm sure oh, well, he was playing with great confidence going into the All England, but I'm sure the, the win against Lindan was just the cherry on the cake for him. He is in super confident form at the moment, I have to say. It's found the line. Five, four. Last couple of rallies have been very reminiscent of the All England final, actually. Lindan wanting to play an all court game. Chen Long being equal to it and able to come up with winners on the end of long extended rallies. Six straight points now. What was that I was saying about Lindan's made a better start than he did in the quarterfinal and semi-final? Yeah, he he's just a little bit short, isn't he, in his length from this side. It is the slower end he's playing from, but uh, you can see there from where Chen Long took that, he's taking it a good pace and a half up the court. Seven, four. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Yeah, it didn't really seem to stay with the shot there. Missed it. Service over, five, seven. Well, we saw this yesterday in the semi-final, didn't we? Lindan changing his racket very, very regularly. Maybe it's just the humidity and the grips are getting damp and he doesn't feel confident with the grips. But I can see at the side of the court there, he's got four rackets lined up ready. I'm sure there's a few more in the bag as well. That's the Lindan special. Slow, 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 quick. It's yeah. a change of pace. I think Chen Long probably hits it a little bit harder than Lindan, but it, it looks harder from Lindan because it's the change of pace that he uses. Not only with the racket, but also with the leg speed to get into position. There's a challenge, yeah, and I think he was right to challenge. It's been Lindan called in. Call in. It was close. Yeah, well, I was getting them all wrong last week in Delhi, but I thought that one was just a little wide. I thought he was right to challenge, but Hawkeye will adjudicate for us. form <laughs> <laughs> redeeming yourself Joe. ah well the percentage I needed to. is starting to creep back <laughs> up again yeah what a great challenge 
What a backhand. My goodness, a backhand cross court. So well, I suppose you call it a fast drop shot off. as an outright winner. You don't often see that in this level of play. Just, just, a, just a sign of his confidence, isn't it? He's confident in all of his shots at the moment. Really at the peak of his game, I would say. It's going to be a great challenge for Linda, and I'm sure he'll relish it. Well, it's a couple of times now on his backhand net. Chen Long has made an error. Yeah, it's an all-court game that Lindan wants to play. Good precision, good length to the rear court in that rally. Much better length from Lindan, making Chen Long's court as big as possible. And eventually the error comes, but he'd had to run the whole diagonal to get there. And that's what Linda, that looks like the basis of Lindan's tactics. He wants to make it a very mobile game. Isn't he, Lindan? And it's a great effect as well. Yeah. Just to use the diagonals there six, seven times. Fantastic skill. Yes, and that's good tactical awareness. Takes him to the mid game interval with a three point advantage. Yeah. Plum on the line. Seconds. Tactically, the sort of match you were expecting? Yeah, I don't think Lindan's going to come out all guns blazing and attack everything. He wants to make it a, a big court game. He wants to keep Chen Long on the move, keeping guessing. We saw there in the last rally how he was using the diagonals because he knows that Chen Long likes to set up his play for the straight interception. And what he's doing is holding and taking the shuttle across play. court and making Chen Long move and turn. And it's a really interesting tactical battle. You see it again there, well, turning, turning the shuttle, making Chen Long travel on the diagonals. A little similarity here, Jill, just thinking back. You know, a lot of big battles, didn't he, with Bao Chung Lai as he was coming through the junior ranks and into yeah. the seniors. Another tall right-hander who was very, very good on straight interception on both wings. And some similarities in the tactics he used to use when he was playing Bao Chung Lai when Bao Chung Lai was on top of his game. Yeah, except Bao Chung Lai was a left-hander. Good point, but it's the straight interception yeah. for Kijo. Yeah. Bao Chung Lai set up all of his plays. For, you know, for that straight interception and Chen Long's a little bit similar. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. Just got my hands mixed up. Yeah, don't worry. Oh. 
Oh, look at that. Oh! Well, tried to pounce. So Lynn Dan. Nine but the 13. next shot from the forehand side of Chen Long was simply too good. That was a good recovery that time. It was a good change of direction from Chen Long. Good control at the net. Well, Lin Dan was quick onto it. He was, wasn't he? Well, he just missed. Well, that had been five straight points. It had been eight all. Oh, that's careless. Ten, but don't you think Lindan, all the way through his career, has played his matches in little phases? He he just has real intensity for five or six points, and then just eases off for three or four and then intensity for five or six. And that's why he wins matches, because he's got the intensity for a longer period of time. Well played. Then, then he eases off. He yeah, tends to play, 13. tends to time his efforts, doesn't he? Just before the mid-game intervals, just afterwards. Then he'll try and drop the tempo a little bit, then he'll bring it back up towards the end. But that comes with experience. Yeah. Good reaction, she just couldn't quite get the shuttle away to, to the back of the court. Oh, that's a great net shot from Chen Long, for which he immediately well, apologises. Of course, I'm just going to contradict what I've just talked about because I think the Olympic final in Beijing was the only time I think I've seen Lin Dan where his intensity never, never wavered throughout the entirety of that final. Yeah, I think he was driven forward by the emotion of the occasion, though, home Olympics. Yeah. He was flying. Yeah. Oh, yes. And again, that's the danger of playing straight to Chen Long. He's setting up. You can see his base is very, very straight there. One step out, jump. Him. Watch this. What him? He's anticipating straight all the time. And that's a great angle. Yeah. So, tactically, when you play against Chen Long, you. you know, the fact that he's looking for that straight the whole time, presumably you've got to try and play away from that. Hello. Yeah, I think you want to try and fix him in the middle as well. I think you can, you, against Chen Long, you want to use the centre of the court a little bit more when you're blocking. You block into the centre, push into the centre, fix him in that centre position, open off. the two wings up and give yourself some options. So now five straight points to Chen Long. Cross clear and then cross drop, double cross. So it's over. 14, 13. Really using the full court. I see, he's, he's under pressure. Manages to recover really well, and there we see one cross. Turn on looking for the straight, and then the second cross, full diagonal. Tactically very, very sound. Yes, good defence off the body from Chen Long. So it's over 14 all. Well, one has to say, you're not used to seeing Lin Dam with opportunities to finish it off, not finish it off. Yeah, he didn't really fully commit, did he?
Fox. Yeah, as soon as he goes straight, Chen Long onto it so quickly. That's where Lin Dan's got to be careful. 15, 14. Seven of the last eight points to Chen Long. So quick onto that straight attack. Really good play from Chen Long. Interesting, isn't it, Jill? Both 15, of these players normally oh. would fully commit to attacking in the front court when the chance comes up, but they're both aware that their opponents are so, so good in terms of reaction from that mid-court defensive position that they're a little bit nervous to really go for the kill from the full court. Now looks up towards the lights. Service over. And then. 16 or. He made the point yesterday when he was playing against Jano Jorgensen. Well, they should be used to the conditions by now. And that includes the lighting. Not only the drift. Missed it. Missed it, but that's dangerous from Lindan, I have yeah. to say. So it's over. Straight clear again. 17, you see how quickly 16. Chen Long is onto it. This time he missed it, but again, able to take it really early. Watch this, he's anticipating straight here. Watch him move across. There we go. Yeah, I'd be disappointed he missed that one. Just took a bit of pace off the smash there, Chen Long. But it's interesting, the early stages so of that, over. that was visible that Lin Dan was trying to inject oh. pace. Yeah, is this the start of his big effort at the end of the game? Certainly went quick on the first three or four shots there, didn't he? Just wide. Yeah, it's clever from Lin Dan again, though, playing central of the court, pushing to the center of the court, and Chen Long forced to try and find the angle to take it to the sideline and making the error. It's a very clever, clever play from Lin Dan. Oh, good net shot. Yeah. Let's it drop wide. 
But what an so net shot off Lynn Gowan's net shot. Off. I felt sure he was going to lift it. So level once again, 18 all. Oh, that's ri ridiculously good. So it's over. Oh, you talked about 19, it yesterday. Players 18. go for that. I always apologise for it, but to me it's just a good shot. He was looking for the tape and he found it. Yeah, the Lindan supporters getting vocal now. Over done it. Oh, so it's over. What an incredible opening game. Off. Just missed it, but you can see it again. He's trying to use that diagonal, isn't it? Look at that. Well, just out the side. No, just a fraction over 30 minutes this opening game has been in progress, and it's 19 all. serve couldn't capitalize oh magnificent well got the thumbs up from Chen Long there that was a great shot Chen Long really thought he'd pinned him on the back foot pushing it into the body Lindan somehow managing to get it away oh, that's fantastic Thought he got him in trouble with the body push, didn't he? Yeah. Was taking the step forward to dominate the net, thinking the block would come. Yeah, there was virtually no backswing of the racket. How yeah, on earth did fantastic. he get that to the back of the court? It's game point. <laughs> yeah. That's the straight one, looking for the straight, playing the straight smash that you were talking about. So and what a good way to save four. the game point opportunity. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, I don't believe it. What a rally. Yeah, a little wry smile from Chen Long. Well, brilliant from both players here. Fantastic quality of play. He knows it. Yeah. There was a block in the middle of that rally from Chen Long when Lindan was coming in to try and really threaten. And it was absolutely superb because Lindan couldn't do anything with it, couldn't make an attacking shot off it. No, I mean, we didn't get this quality from both players at the same time in the All England. This is a real treat. Yeah. So a second game point opportunity to Lynn Dan. 21.
20 play. converts on his second opportunity what a brilliant opening game umpire confirms 22 20 33 minutes needed for that opening game and as you say ian we are being treated to something special here today is the final rally of the opening game. Well, he'll know he's got to play the perfect net shot, otherwise it's going to be severely punished. And that's why he goes for it so tight. But their confirmation, Lynn Dan, the Olympic champion. Opening game, 22-20 in 33 minutes. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Well, the players return to court. Start of this second game. Lindan has taken a, a new racket with a brand new grip on. Second game. Having taken the opening game 22 20 Lobo. on his second game point Play. opportunity. Gets game number two underway. Oh, oh. goodness. Take that backhand smash outright winner from Chen Long. Over. One. A little bit low. tensive from Lindan, the lift there, but uh, fantastic finish. Generated such power. Reminded me of Taufik Hidiat's backhand smash, that. Yeah, yeah, some similarities, I can see that. Although Taufik took a few more backhands because he liked it, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Well, court going to be mopped some more, they're going to take a new shuttle. I'm just Thank looking you. at their statistics from last year. Chen Long, eight finals from Thank 12 you. tournaments played. Lin Dan, six finals from eight tournaments played oh goodness whenever they play they seem to be well you'd expect it of world champions and olympic champions don't you but i mean it's still amazing statistics really interesting Jill you know after after the first game you know in the normal normal circumstances the coaches would be coming on and influencing the tactical side of the game here and what's so nice here is both of them got to work it out for themselves which I think gives it gives this match an extra dimension yeah well I've Thank always you. argued that point that the you know it's basically an individual sport and it should be the test of so the individual over. and uh, the coach's role, certainly in my day, was in the preparation. One and then off. once I was on the match court, it was up to me. But the game's developed. This is the way the game and the sport has gone. But there is a certain fascination to make to see how players deal with these situations themselves without getting back up from coaches. Two, one. Yep. Uh, 
like I say, I think for this particular match, it gives an extra dimension to it. Yeah. Who can work it out? What changes are we going to see here? Because we know in this situation they're going to be initiated by themselves. Shuttle was really spinning. Chen Long played his best net shot there. And Lin Dan somehow one. able to control it. Two, and play the diagonal. You can see this shuttle's really, look at that. It's really turning that shuttle. It's an amazing lift. are going to have a little bit of influence on the tactics here, I feel, Jill. And Dan turning around, having to play from the slightly quicker end. You can see there he's already hit one or two out the back. He's going to have to adapt to that. Disappointed missing this one. This is his favourite. Got onto it early. Yeah, that's precision play too. Great defence from Chen Long. Over four, three. Yeah, good judgment. Yeah, well, he hasn't adjusted Five, yet, as you three. suggested, he needed to. Yeah, and Chen Long's playing it well. He's making Lin Dan take, it, take the shuttle from very late here. He knows the straight plot there will make Lin Dan take it late. And from down there, it's very difficult to control the length from the, from the quicker end. More good judgment from so Chen Long and Six, more four. things to think about for Lin Dan. Well, he wants the shuttle changed. I don't think it's the shuttle, it's the, the drift that's making the difference. Yeah, definitely quicker from this end. First game he was able to use the rear court very, very effectively to open the court. He's going to have to rethink a little bit in this second game from this quicker end. Seen one or two mistakes from Chen Long. 
which we haven't really been seeing so far this year. But he knows he's under pressure against Lindan. I guess he's just going for that little bit extra at the moment. in that shot got there earlier took it earlier that's the difference yeah gave it a bit more height as well yeah, good attack and really strong legs to get in behind it as you say played what we used to call the hairpin drop there yeah gave it a little bit more height so he could keep it closer to the net so it's over Seven, five. So it's over. Six, seven. Lovely deceptive return from Lindan. Not wanted to risk going to the rear court, so just using the hold and the cross deception on the net. But Chen Long not missing by much. Service over. Eight, six. This is quick. It's quick from Chen Long. Good interception. Again, Lindan not looking totally happy with the racket. Same game, clever play from Thank Chen Long. Getting there early. Playing the net shot, forcing Lindan to take it from low down, knowing that it's more difficult to control the lift from there. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Extreme defence to extreme attack. He was on his knees in defence here. We're going to see it. Look at that. Completely off balance, but able to get up. And get up really high to hit that steep angled smash down the line. Super play, super agility. Service over. Seven, nine. That's careless. Eight, nine. Ooh, that's overdone. Yeah. Service over. Yeah, just telling himself Ten. what he should have Ten. done. With the racket head or something, he's saying to himself. Well, it was a bit floaty, wasn't it? Quicker, didn't it? Nice angle. Nine, nice change of pace and direction.
played one of those off his right shoulder in the opening game that was superb. That time finding the net, Lin Dan, on the defensive shot. And it means that the world champion has a two-point advantage here in the second game. Forty-eight minutes already. Oh, we had a women's singles the other day, didn't we? And that was an hour and fifty-one so minutes so between Wang Xiaoxian and Nozomi Okuhara. What a match that was! That was brilliant, wasn't it? Uh, just ran each other to a standstill, didn't they? Fantastic exhibition of physical condition 11, of the nine. female athletes these days. Play. Yeah. Wasn't expecting the cross court drop at all, Linda. Late on to it. Nine. This is good speed, good change of pace. We talked about Lin Dan's change of pace, but this is really quick from Chen Long to get in there. You're going to see it here. Look at the change of pace, super play. Good technique at the end as well. overdone it oh no he hasn't good shot that's a good rally from Chen Long he was always in control wasn't he yeah. it was Lin Dan who was scrambling super play that's a good angle there yeah, yeah. outmaneuvered yeah we see that double cross I like that tactic, yeah. he gets it down Thank steep, you. gets in early behind it and crosses again. It's very, very difficult to, to counter. Thirteen, nine, play. Oh, my goodness. Well, that wasn't 14, even close to the line. line. Nowhere near close to the line. It just shows what disguise there was on that overhead from Chen Long because Lin Dan was left stranded. Yeah, you don't often see that. This is extraordinary. 15, nine. Five straight points, opening up a six-point cushion. And all of a sudden, Lin Dan looks as if he's just off the pace a bit. Yeah, I think he's had some issues from this end, Jill. Service he's had to change. He's winning 15. tactic from the first game because he's not able to control the length of the shuttle so well from this side. And that's uh, just given Chen Long some more opportunities, which he's taken really well. Oh, oh that's not bad then. <laughs> uh, that's not so shabby, is it? No. <laughs> no. He's been beaten a couple of times in the last few rallies by great cross angles 15. from Chen Long. He's just saying, yep, yeah, I can do that as well. That's a great shot. Absolutely on the line. Short. Yep, got what it deserved. Service over. Cat and mouse game. Chen Long knows that Lin Dan's not getting a very good length, so he's putting a lot of pressure on the net, getting there 16, early, spinning the shuttle 11. at the net. 
Chen Long stuck and uh, Lin Dan struggling to control the length of these lifts. Too long or too short at the moment. Seventeen eleven. the line all is always thinking about a challenge 18 11 Dan, but so deciding against it given the situation and the score i think he's decided to save it might need it later on yeah and i think it was in anyway he would have wasted a challenge in my opinion well, that's lovely service over to our 18. Up, even with a little bit of extra height, still out Service the back. Over. 19, 12. It's been the pattern of this game, second game. Lindan just struggling with his length from this side. Oof. Well, it was deflected by hitting the top of the tape. So it's over 13, Ending up 19. Wide. See that quite clearly. So it's over 20 game oh point. Earth, happened 13. There. Well, game point opportunities to send it to a third and deciding game. Game. Yeah. Tame finish. Again, one by from Lindan to that 13. second game. One game all. Knew his opponent had got too much of a lead. 21-13. Uh, 55 minutes into the match. And in essence, we're back to square one because it's one game all. And we all come down to this third and deciding game. Well, the match clock moved on to 56 minutes now. Change of shirt for Chen Long. I don't know if you got a glimpse there. He too had strapping on his back. Yeah. <laughs> a little treat for the crowd. surprised both players changing their shirts I can see that the shirts were absolutely sodden with perspiration twenty seconds twenty seconds ready So a call of 20 seconds from the umpire is a clear indication for the players to make their way back onto court. They were both just slightly slow in responding to that. That would be understandable. Final Such has game. been the quality and the intensity so far. Low ball, play. So third and deciding game. Oh. 
One love. Now, I do wonder, Ian, at the age of 31, Lindan, and, you know, doesn't or hasn't played as many tournaments. He's not as match fit, perhaps, as his opponent, although he's been playing more tournaments of late. But is fitness an issue for either player here? I don't think so, no. I think the second game, I think the explanation there is that Chen Long just played the conditions much better than Lin Dan. He really took advantage but playing from the slightly favoured side. Lin Dan had real problems adapting to the quicker end. Um, it wasn't a particularly physical second game, so no. Lin should be OK. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, this is worrying for Lin Dan because I'm sure he's thinking he needs Three, to be winning no. at the mid-game interval here. He needs to take advantage of this slightly slightly better end but Chen Long started really really well here yeah the, the reason I asked the question Ian was because I thought you know there was two or three rallies at the end of that second game where Lin Dan just looked to me as if he was slightly off the pace and you only have to drop a fraction and it makes a big impact when you're playing against an opponent that's so fast yeah, I just think that, yeah, I just think he lost control of the game and just at the end just took the decision Four, he was going to wait for low. the third game. I think he was also very frustrated from that end of the court that Ch Chen Long was able to get in and take the net off him and then he was forced to lift, couldn't control the length of it. He just look at, looked a little bit frustrated. As another example, I mean, it's very, very difficult Five, to lift off the net when Chen Long's taken the shuttle early because I think that was actually a net cord, but even if it's not a net cord, he's getting really, really good spin on the shuttle, which makes it difficult to control. So exactly one hour this match has been in progress. Five, love the advantage to Chen Long. And again, another great spin yeah. net shot from Chen Long. Yeah. Chen Long's got to be careful here, he's got to get him off that Six, net position. Love. later and then it's Chen Long that has the problems behind himself there in the rear court controlling the lift of the rear court. Oh, brilliant. He's looking for that straight again, though, isn't he, Ian? Yeah, that's his favourite. One. And ben should know it. Well, I wasn't predicting this in the deciding game. It's a super from Chen Long, though, good cross, anticipating the straight. And rather, than, rather than going for the straight smash to the line, as he has been doing, bring it back into the centre. That's really good tactics. Gets in early, takes the net, gets the attack. Yeah. Nine one. He's playing really well though, Jill, I have to say. Yeah. Nine one. His net play really is supreme at the moment. And Dan, no answers in the front court at the moment. Look at that. Yeah. Fantastic play. Going wide. Service over to nine.
well, he's missed one. It's almost a surprise. Nine. At least that time Lindan was able to make him work the diagonals again. That was more reminiscent of the first game, the tactics he used in the first game to such good effect. And Lindan. Lindan didn't give Chen Long as much time there, forcing Chen Long to take it a little bit later at the net, and there's the error. gone wide uh, that's clever from Chen Long that wasn't so full power on that smash ten, no, he realized it was a better length from Lindan and therefore didn't force it he's just reading the game very well again the good net it's a good lift from Lindan so doesn't force it Lindan out the side Deflected by the net board, but in still landing three, in there for Chen Long. And this is a huge advantage in badminton terms. Eight point advantage at the change of ends here in the third and deciding game. Yeah, super shot. Eleven three play. Well, if Linda needs to add the Malaysian Open to his long list of achievements, he's got to somehow find a way to turn this around. Magnificent. Backhand cross court from Chen Long. Well, uh, Lindan tried everything here, had him all over the court, played slow, played quick, used the diagonals really well, but Chen Long was equal to absolutely everything. He looks in very, very confident frame of mind again. The very second rally of the match was 43. Duh, that, not quite the longest. Yeah, hurts more in the third game though. Two well, yeah, two three, right. Play.
Oh. I think I'd be tempted to challenge that. Not that I can see from here. Yeah, and Chen Long hasn't had a challenge yet, has he? Difficult, easy for it, easy for the player to see down the sidelines. Back line's a long way away. Superb judgment. Yeah. Great play from Lin Van, but amazing well. footwork from Chen Long. He actually got there, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, that's great athleticism. Pinned in this backhand corner here, gets the neck cord, neck cord return from Lindan. Still gets there, can't control it. Footwork's amazing. That's gone long. Oh, goodness me. Seven to one. Oh, write this man off at your peril. 3-12 down, he thought it was all over by the celebrations for Chen Long, but all of a sudden... Five straight points. And only four points in it, yep, definitely wide. And all of a sudden it's believable again. Yeah, you can't relax against someone like Lindan, can you? No, never. Yeah. Yeah. It's good from Chan Long, though. Really good. Kept his patience, hit. played the rally out, maneuvered Lin down around the court. It's got him late in the rear court and then late in the full court. Can't control it from so deep. No, couldn't get down. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Brilliant. Brilliant control from so close to the net. Both players there on their top form around the net area. We're going to see it really well from this angle. Look How at on, that. On earth. Incredible. Did they both control that? That's amazing. And it's that sort of rally, Ian, that can sometimes just change the momentum of a match. Absolutely. Yeah, Chen Long felt the need to try and press a bit harder, didn't he? Just forced him into the mistake there. Wanted to step up the tempo. By playing quicker, more risk of making the error. a drift just a moment ago. Now there's just three points in it. It's gone wide. Yeah, you can see he's disappointed with that. It's a super attack down the line, got in, took it early. Just pushed it out the side of the court. 14, 
10. Could have left that Chen long. Do you think that was maybe game wide? I do. Yeah, I'm just a bit surprised. Let's have a look here. Look at the angle. It's no, close. Yeah. Close. Closer than I thought. We could have a look afterwards. A rueful glance back at the line afterwards. to the so back of the over. court, there was a huge 15, gap at the front. 11. And Linda nets the net shot. Oh, what a great smash. That's clever, isn't it? That's really good. 15, really good. And Dan was definitely looking there for a straight attack. He's lifted it up that side. He's anticipating straight. Chen Long, good power, good precision to the centre of the court. Oh, string's gone. Did it go over? No, I, d I don't think it did. No, no. Had, had a look and came back, didn't it? Yeah. Jumped up off the top. She stayed on Lindan's side. Similar to the semi-final yesterday, Jill, that missed net shot has just taken the steam out of him, hasn't it? Yeah. That was a real momentum point, you feel. It's gone wide as well. Wow. Two points away from the title, Chen Long. And what would be his second title of the year in his second tournament? Oh, it's long. It's gone too long. And on a run of six straight points, the world champion and world number one has a whole host of match point opportunities against the Olympic champion. champion Chen Long well it wasn't to be third time lucky for Lin Dan in his third Malaysia nine, Open two. final 20, beaten by 21, the world 13, champion Chen Long having to come back from a game deficit 
20, 22, 21, 13, 21, 11 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 18 minutes. This, the final rally, it's the body smash again that's done the damage. That's a couple of times in this third game that has been so effective. An elite from the base position. Yeah, nice sportsmanship at the end of the match. Well, there's no question. Lin Dan's performance, I think, here in Malaysia, better than at the first of the Premier Super Series events this year in all England. But it was a tremendous final. But in the end, Chen Long, I thought, well, just superb. What a men's singles final that was. Great entertainment. Two wonderful athletes. Well, by my calculation, this certainly isn't official. General will go up to number two on the destination Dubai list, but Lindan will be number one. I doubt if that's any consolation to Lindan as far as he's a match player. First and foremost, I remember him telling me some years ago that world number one status wasn't his quest, it was winning titles. Men's single, Maybank English Open, part of MetLife BWF World Super Series Premier 2015. Runner from China, Lin Dan. Third time the Lin Dan has had to settle for second best here at the Malaysia Open. Yeah, nice to see the smile. Momento from that line. And a prize money of USD nineteen thousand dollars. Man single may be English open for a Mad Life EWS World Super Series Premier 2015 Champion from China. Chen Long. A second title of the year for Chen Long, a second Premier Super Series title of the year. A 16th Super Series title in total for the world number one and world champion Chen Long. first man from China to win the Malaysia Open while the Super Series has been in existence. And the first Chinese player for 12 years.
Thank you. So, with three finals complete, just two more to come. And next up, we have a similar scenario because we have the Olympic champion, Li Xue up against the world champion, Carolina Marin. And of course, we will finish off with men's doubles. The world number ones, Li Yongdae and Yu Young Sung, up against the former champions here and former world champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setioan. Well, our next final will be women's singles, and that gives us a chance.